welcome to my channel, Roisin Curé here. Well, I was inspired to um, make this painting of this wonderful chocolate cake made by my lovely daughter, Olivia. Um, we all fell off the wagon spectacularly last night. We've been quite good trying to not be such um, greedy people lately. Um, I made this drawing at the end of my last sketchbook of this fantastic little patisserie. It's called a Paris breast and it's this amazing shoe pastry type of affair. Um, and it's most unlike me to guzzle one all to myself. Um, but I did so one evening and felt so guilty that I went back on one of those um, intermittent fasting things. But every now and then somebody in my house makes something just too amazing to resist. And that's what happened last night. And so today, I don't know, am I atoning for it? Um, am I trying to make myself feel less guilty by putting it into art? I don't know. Has it worked? Definitely not. But one way or another, I have a nice picture of a chocolate cake. So I hope you enjoy it. Well, it's the morning after the night before and this delightful cake is just waiting to be sketched in the quiet tranquility of a Sunday morning. I'm using a green barreled Sailor Food A55 degree pen and a black barreled uh, Jin Hao 55 degree Food A pen. Now I'm checking the negative spaces between the strawberries and I'm eyeballing the overall shape of the cake and the strawberry. Here's my little setup. working up some burnt umber mixed with some, I think, mineral violet and maybe a little bit of shadow grey. And I'm going all around the straws. And I'm also trying to um, leave unpainted little bits where the cake is shiny on the top. So I'm trying to leave those white all around the cake, doing a few little dots with my red ink pen for the seeds. I always have a red ink pen in my pencil case. Mixing cherry quinacridone red, Aquarius orange and magenta to get a nice colour for strawberries. Lots and lots of ways to come to that colour. This just happens to be the way I come to it. Now you can see in mixing the green for the plate, I had a bit of a color run, but that's okay. You have to have the confidence just to leave these things. Dotting on some ink splashes for the cake texture and filling in the rim of the plate. Bit of a shadow for the plate, just where the cake is cast a shadow. Just working up a slightly darker shade of green nice clean edge because it's it's on ceramic now time for a little bit of sauce this old little jug I've had for for a long time this little jug was made by an a potter in Jamaica where my sister lives it was a gift from my sister many years ago now I'm going to use a combination of yellow ochre and burnt sienna for the surface of this sauce it was just right now I ended up giving it a second layer when it was dry just to give that color a bit more of a rich finish and I'm coloring in the jug in yellow and orange wet on wet to get a nice soft effect there goes my second layer on the surface and when it's dry and no longer in danger of colour runs. I'm using a mix of shadow grey and Payne's grey for the granite countertop. And when that jug is completely dry, I'm using a more concentrated mix of shadow grey for those little black, I don't know, leopard print. 
patterns. Use my black ink pen as well to pick out areas that I think need to be darkened a little bit. So here we are, more or less at the end. Enjoy doing the reflection of the jug on the countertop. Not perfect, but a little bit of fun as well. Here's the baker herself, my generous and talented daughter, Olivia. Oh, uh oh, I guess I've fallen off the wagon. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little demo of a chocolate cake being sketched. And if you like the look of it and would like to give it a go yourself, then check out the Hazel Mountain Cookbook by Kasha Connolly in the Burren in County Clare. And my daughter Olivia says that everything she's made so far has been delicious. So I look forward to seeing you soon.